I remember I went to a place to preach and they told me that I should announce that they are going to be selling this, selling that. I felt bad. The reason I felt bad was nothing. It was because it's not part of my culture. And do you know many people were testifying that the water has healed them? I was shocked. And I prayed on the water. My, you know where I went to? It's Potter Court. <laughs> I prayed on the water. I prayed on the oil. And they sold it. The water here was not for selling. Is that okay? The water here was not for merchandise. Anybody that can jump into the pool is healed. Even if they put a price for it, people will still be healed. But Jesus gave it free. There was a reason. Because these people are sick. They don't have money. That is why they are at that pool. If they had money, they would have looked for doctors. Because in their time, there were doctors. According to scripture, there was a woman. I said it in the other miracle service. This woman went everywhere in search for healing. Meet all kinds of doctors. When she's tired and her money has finished, she looked for Jesus. In this situation, these ones have finished everything. So the only option was to gather by a pool. And the Bible says for 38 years. I don't know how old you are. I'm not up to 38 years. But for 38 years, this man has been suffering with this infirmity. And there was never a day that he sees from coming to that pool. But eventually, one day, he will be able to be the first that will step into the pool. What kind of hope and desperation is that? For 30 something years. I don't know how long you have been suffering with that infirmity. But according to Jesus, the way of receiving any healing and miracle is to believe that at any time, see, you will get a man that can come to help you. The man there was not a man as you can imagine. The man there is actually Jesus himself. Because immediately when your helper come, your life change. The greatest challenge me and you are having now is for God to attach to us men and women that can take upon themselves our body and start and say they will rather go down for you to go up. For any man to go up, he must be standing upon something. In the same way, the lifting of men is upon the ladders of men. So when the man said, I have no man, it was the greatest tragedy on the earth. Your success in life is dependent upon men. One of the greatest miracles God can do to you is to attach unto you men that are willing to take your body. That in the day you cry, they cry. In the day you are married, they marry. In the day somebody says you will see, they will join together and tell the person you will see. I have no man. And because a man have no man, this man may be a politician. This man may be a governor. This man may be a king. This man may be something. But in the days of his predicament, maybe his leprosy, maybe his whatever situation, everybody ran away from him. You will know your true friends the day you are in trouble. In the days of trouble, the man have no man. Is it possible for a man to have no man? A man that is not 38 years, he has been suffering with something for 38 years. That man may be 50 years old, maybe 40 years old. I bet you, this man might have paid other people fees. This man might have fed many people. He might have helped many people in his life. But in the day sickness came, everyone ran away and left him. And the man stand left to die. It was like the case of Job. In the days of the calamity of Job, the story was different. Everyone left him. All his friends came and they sat together and began to accuse him. Oh Job, how comes you sin? Tell us what is the sin you are seeing for God to punish you like this. I have no man. If you have not written your prayer point, please write. May God give me a man. You don't need a boyfriend, you need a man. You don't need a girlfriend, you need just one person. Why Jesus Christ was on his way to the cross. Jesus Christ was tired, he was weary. Surrounded by all kinds of people. None of his apostles helped carry the cross. A man, Simon of Cyrene, Simon of Cyrene, was able to help him. The greatest miracle any man can receive is that he will have men. 
Many years ago, the Lord told me, Philip Cephas, I will send you men, strangers in their court and in their numbers. In the days when all doors are shut, I kneel down and I say, Son of David, send me a man. You don't need to know everybody. You just need to know a man. That guy, maybe he know a lot of people. But when the angels stand of the pool, many of them are at home eating food. Because the plan was that there is a time that the angel come to stand of the water. So all of them may stay with him. After 12 o'clock, they will say, Kai, we don't tire. Boku, they go house. The other will say, after two, make a go chop, come back. And when the angel come and stand of the water, he turned. Where are all my friends? They are not there. And that was a moment of deliverance. That was the strategic time gate for emancipation. The politics of heaven is that at the moment where you needed help, God can be there in the presence of heaven. You will not need God all the time as men will tell you. But there are days where you need God the most. May God not be far from you the day you need him the most. That day when you are in the Lord dungeon, when it looks as though all hell was break loose, let God appear. The apostles were put in chain. They were put in all kinds of situations. But in the days when they say they should die, a man appeared. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were cast into the lake of fire, it was a furnace that burned, although it was hell. And in that very moment, they thought they have no one. The fourth man appeared. <laughs> Say, didn't we cast three men here? Say, yes. But we can't explain how a fourth man appeared. And the face of that fourth one is like the Son of God. A thousand times, men will be surprised anytime a man appears in your life. Just when they think you cannot do it, a man appears to show you the way. That's why he said, when you reach to the end, crossroad, you don't know what to do. You will hear a voice from behind saying, this is the way. Walk the way. The tragedy of men is that at the desperate moment where they needed help, they never got it. Many people that you call atheists today, many of them trusted God in days of need and it looks as though God is far. They say, from today, I will not, I give up on God. I know somebody that his father was so sick. The guy prayed, fasted, did all kinds of things. When the guy, the father died, the guy basketed. Why? There was no man. 